Coming live from the command center of the JW Solar USA, live from Minnesota. Guys, um, the batteries have been balancing them in this format. And I'm going to show you how to uh, eradicate all these kind of um, expansion and contraction everybody's talking about on YouTube or on the internet. How these batteries expand, bulge, you know contract but uh, due to manufacturing manufacturing specification the batteries are supposed to be uh, aligned not in this format because they have to give them chance to or opportunity to expand swelling and um, contracting but if you mount the batteries the way they are right now this way you're going to be having problem because the battery is about to expand a little bit due to um, charging and discharging you have to have some gaps if you see right in the middle right there the battery is supposed to be that so i set up this battery to be in a parallel mode so i can able to balance the batteries but um, like i was telling you this is a tip a quick tip how to prevent uh, swollen batteries this is how you do it so you take, I'm taking the tape out. Now, I wasted all the tape. It's not a waste, but that's what I'm supposed to do. And um, I'm setting this battery in um, 24 volt configuration. Okay, instead of 12 volts, it's gonna be 24 volt configuration. So now I'm using my boss bars. These are works pretty well come from the uh, vo um, sorry Ford Focus this is how they are the boss bar is supposed to be like this it's a, a nickel plated nickel gold plated something just a little gold on it but it's a nickel plated gold kind of something like that these are from the Nissan Leaf I took from the previous I've gave a lot away but I want to show you this is the way all right, you set them up this way, you have gaps in, in between. So by having gaps in between, and um, the batteries will breathe better. And if you see, trying to keep this line all the way straight, is the bottom here is going to be kind of a little bit tough because the batteries are uh, moving, sliding. So what I'm going to do, I'm trying to put a tape right now here. My high temperature or high heat tape this one so i have three of them i wasted almost one on this pack here to just do this so i'm gonna be taping the bottom here so they can't be moving anymore by doing so you let the batteries they can expand sideways they only expand this way okay they swollen up this way the front and the back they don't swell up on the sides at all. They don't do that. So due to expansion and contraction, this um, stuff right here, you see, it's curved. I wish I can get more of these ones again. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to incorporate that with the Nissan Leaf uh, bus bar. So they're all the same. So I can set them here and show you exactly all the holes lined up. The only thing but the Nissan Leaf is kind of a little bit, you see, uh, on the sides, you can see it sticks out a little bit, it's wider. But uh, you will see all these guys are the same length, okay? So if you have the Nissan Leaf bus bars, it's going to work for you. They're all the same length, the holes are all perpendicular to each other, or they're all exactly the same length. Or the way they drill them the only thing this is skinny which is the Ford Focus and um, this side the Nissan Leaf is a little bit um, wider so that's what I'm gonna what that's that's what I'm using right now I'm using the Ford Focus boss bars I have from previous batteries so this is the only way you can fix the problem that people are talking about about all these batteries bulging and all these problems 
according to manufacturer specification this is how they want you to do if you have the batteries this way they will last they will last for a very long time but some people if you put them on a compression mode you compress them this battery is supposed to last almost 4,000 to 5,000 cycles four to five thousand cycles you know all the way to eighty percent but if you decide to compress these batteries just like I did right here this battery is gonna long the long longevity of this battery is gonna be ruined because you don't let the batteries breathe in a way that moving the 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 the, the chemistry inside and the components inside and uh, it's moving back and forth so about to expand is training them they started breaking the cells inside or you're going to start breaking the terminals see because they can't expand they won't expand so it's going to be high tension between the series connection and it's just not going to work or the parallel connection and you shorten the life of the battery due to research on the uh, manufacturer specification this is what it has to be torqued. I forgot it's off my head. You have to be torqued. I think it's 25 pounds. So that's the compression is like 25 pounds. But if you decided to put them 25 psi, sorry, no pounds, 25 psi. If you decide when you go and take these batteries and put them in a box, then you suppress them. Then you lose, you, you you are losing the life expectancy of these batteries. Instead of um, five thousand cycles, you put yourself into three thousand cycles, or four thousand cycles. So it lost about a thousand cycles out of these batteries. So the only way you can able to enjoy this battery or benefits or the longevity of this battery, put them in an open case instead of putting them in a case have them in an open case so my plan right here after i already built this one i'm gonna buy um um a dolly thing wood they already made I don't, i'm not gonna make it but i'm gonna go buy an arbor freight they have those that have the casting wheels so it's gonna be like the size of this cardboard it's hard for me to do on the carpet um I have to, my house is almost about 95% carpet, doesn't have any floor, unless in the kitchen. So I have to use this cardboard to make sure that I have them all straight, or you can use a plywood so that I can have them all lined up. But if you put them in a box, or you compress them, it's the 5,000 cycles you can get on these batteries, and now you just lost a 1,000 cycle. If you put them on compress, you put them on an open case, just like that. You design them this way. You give them this kind of space that's supposed to be. It's not even a, I think probably is an half inch. I didn't even use the tape to see exactly. But I was following what the manufacturer see. I saw even a picture that um, is designed this way. So I'm going to go with this due to my research. I have the picture that um, they designed this way from one of the, um, the sellers who follow the real um, 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 configuration or specification. So this is the best way to go, it, go with these batteries. So I'm disabling, disabling these batteries. I'm going to take another module set of that over there and line them right up here and go about it okay so the last one why the tape is not here or the sticker that's the negative right here is the brown one or the uh, copper or bronze and here is the positive which is like a kind of stainless steel if you can see that So maybe the camera is deceiving, but you can see the difference. Um, the last one is a shiny one here. This is kind of like a, a bronze color. And you can see from the terminals right here 
and you can see the last one is the positive so i'm coming all the way back this way to the end is the negative so i'm gonna line them the same way again this one the sticker is on the other side it's flipped to give me the negative on this side so i'm building a 24 volt configuration here by doing so um i can this side is just going to be parallel so negative to negative i continue with this so this is how i parallel it so now this one is a 20 25 amp hours 25 amp hours on each battery but they are now in series doing so series the voltage goes up the amp stays the same so now this entire pack right here eight batteries they end up being um uh, 25 amp hours so the next one is going to lay on top of this again and it's going to be 25 amp hours by using this bridge in this because i want all the terminals to be on one side so by doing so the terminals all on one side then i can able to create my series here series i can go now negative to negative after i already did the negative and positive it gives me the 24 volt right now and i can able to uh prove that to you by putting a voltmeter multimeter but by doing so this one negative right here comes to the other negative then they become parallel so 25 times 2 give me 50 amp hours at 24 volt so i have all the positive this way positive to positive you tie them negative to negative now they're all you take this side over here, the positive going to the bus bar of the positive, and you take the negative here goes to the negative bus bar. So you already have a series parallel. So it's gonna be having um uh it's a string of eight. So now you're gonna have two strings of eight when they come up. It depends how you build it now coming all the way up, how many strings. This is a right now is a string. Is a eight of them in series. I'm going to build another one. It's going to be another eight. So now it's going to be two strings of eight. That's how you call it. Two strings of eight. So we're going to have all the positive there. I just want to make it clear to you guys. This is what I'm doing. That's why I'm taking my time. I don't have all the, um, um, the material to go about it. These are just the ones I was laying down for my previous batteries. I open up, um, when the Ford Focus and the Nissan Leaf, go check those um, videos on my playlist on um, um, switching from, I think it's switching from AGM, from AGM to lithium ion, to lithium batteries, swapping, I think it's that, that's why I said swapping from uh, AGM to lithium just look on my batteries solar batteries you can see the videos so now we are now in lithium ion phosphate we deal with the lithium batteries now lithium ion phosphate and i just want to show you from lithium ion to lithium ion phosphate so these are 3.2 cell 25 amp hours so this is what i have and i hope you like the setup i hope it makes sense to you instead of losing um, a thousand cycles that's a lot I'll go this way and do exactly what the uh, the manufacturer's specification requires for me to do because I want these batteries to last longer and I don't want to be facing any of the trouble that a lot of people are facing right now online or on the internet on YouTube or whatever so I want to do it the right way like and subscribe, JW Solar USA, live in Minnesota Command Center. Bye for now. Stay tuned for more progress coming on your way. As I'm moving forward with the packs right here, this is how far I've gone. And uh, this is a third layer. So it's going to be three strings of eight already. And uh, it's going to be a fourth one after this and the fourth one is right here this is the last pack that came and i just started dismantling it removing the uh, i already balanced them 
these ones I balance separately from these ones here because <clears throat> I didn't even have the time to do that to put them all together and the wire I was using how I balance it I'll put it on the on the end screen video I'll show you and this is one of them here that's already balanced so if you see they, they put the labels in the wrong direction all the other ones are on the other side like this like this side so now the negative here so I don't want to mix them up with the other ones so I want to use all the ones that are already balanced at the same time on the same pack so I'm gonna use them right here so you see the gap so they go vertical and this is what it is this, this is what you've seen right here live at the JW Solar USA and um, this is gonna be the best way this battery is gonna work I tell you what um, I'm doing the best I could to make this right once and for all and I don't want to um, get into the same problems that people already get into and uh, I want to do things right and I'm not saying well whatsoever other people are, who, who have done this and they haven't done the right thing or well, I don't just want to go through the process they went through you know learning their lesson the hard way and it's money everything costs money so all this is how it is so all the, the negatives is gonna be here this is how the parallel gonna go there's a bus bar gonna come across here to tie all these and the positives all the way here that's the fourth string so all gonna be together so so one this is a string right here on a 24 volt and the second and the third and um, now we have all the negatives going to come right from negative leads going to the bus bar and negative lead go to the bus bar for the inverter to charge. We pull power from one direction here to the other and this is how it's going to be. Like and subscribe JW Solo USA live from Minnesota Command Center. I love you guys all and thanks for watching my videos. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.